day two of the productivity challenge. And it's all about the subconscious mind. Welcome back to another video. I'm Maximilian and I help people empower their lives. So, the subconscious mind. This is the biggest key to overcoming confidence, overcoming success, fear of success, fear of failure. Overcoming anything starts in the subconscious mind. If you, if you know deep down that you are someone who can be successful, you will be successful. It might not happen overnight. You might have to put the work in and that's not part of the subconscious mind. That's part of you doing the work that needs to be done in order for you to get where you, where you need to be. So the subconscious mind, we live 95% of our life through the subconscious. Everything that you do every single day, bar 5%, is unconscious. The way you drive to work, the way you drive to the gym, the way you put your clothes on, the, the way you make your breakfast, we run through habits. So if you can change and essentially control what habits you have, you can control the subconscious mind. Now there's many different subconscious programming techniques that I can teach you. So if you are interested in learning that and you wanna reprogram your mind for confidence, for happiness, um, for health, for, quit, for quitting negative habits or even improving better habits or even self-love, that's something that I can do very easily with you. So if you're interested, send me a message on Instagram. The link will be down below. But the main thing is understanding that there's many different ways that you can do this. Now you can do this alone, admittedly, it can be done. It takes a little bit longer because you may not understand it, so you have to learn it first and then apply it. Whereas working with someone that knows how to do it, you're literally just applying it straight away, if you see what I'm saying. So there's a few things that you can do from this video, which I can give you straight away, that you can use as of tonight, as of today, whatever time you're watching this video, that can really benefit you, impact you, and take you to the next level of your life. So I'll give you one very good technique and see how you get on with it. So this is a very, very simple technique and we all go into a state of theta. Now theta, we have different brain waves. It goes alpha, beta, theta, theta, delta, uh, and gamma. But gamma is like a really heightened, really heightened awareness. Theta is a meditation state, sort of like hypnosis. So if you can get yourself into theta, then that's where everything just goes. You are just calm, you are there, you are present. Now every single person goes into theta. As soon as they wake up in the morning, they're coming out of Delta, which is deep sleep, and they move to Theta. Then they start to move to Alpha, then to Beta, and Beta is just a waking state, and Alpha is just a relaxed, calm state. So when, when you go home and maybe you put your feet up and you watch the TV, something like that. So you can essentially hack this by tapping into your Theta supply. It's like, it's like if you think about it, you've got, you, let's say you had £100,000 in a in every, or when you woke up, you had a hundred thousand pounds. You have that hundred thousand pounds to spend. As soon as it's gone 20 minutes or 10 minutes, you lose that money and you can't spend it. Think of it in that, in them terms. You have those, those five, ten, those two to five minutes, I'd say, of coming out of the state and going into theta. And if you can get yourself into a meditation, you can stay in that theta state for longer. So you essentially, you're hacking the day. And obviously if you're starting the day consciously, you're choosing and you're putting yourself into a conscious state, then you're going to progress a lot faster and improve yourself a lot, lot easier. So every single morning and every single evening, just as you are going to bed, just as you are waking up, you are in theta. Use this very crucial time to program your mind. Now, the way that I do this personally is with gratitude. Because when you're grateful, you are physically saying thank you. If someone gave you something, you say thank you. You, we don't tend to unless unless you understand it. So, for example, m myself, I never used to. I I would only say thank you if someone gave me something. I wouldn't just say thank you for no reason. Whereas now I understand the power of gratitude, and I am grateful every single day. I say thank you. I literally say it out loud. Like you might think I'm weird, but it works. It may put you in such a heightened heightened state, a heightened just makes you feel great. So if you can put yourself in a state of gratitude while in a state of theta, you are programming the subconscious to feel grateful. So think about how powerful that is. If you're programming your subconscious every single morning, every single evening, how quickly you will soon become grateful every single day. Now you see it when kids, from the age of zero to seven, kids are in a state of theta. How quickly 
is it for children to learn a language, a second language? How quickly is it for a child to learn how to ride a bike? It really is quite quick compared to an adult because when you're an adult, you're thinking too much. But when you're a child, if, if there's a child that's grown up in a, they both speak, for example, they both speak English and then they both speak another language. So a tri trilingual, I think it is. I'm not sure what it is, but three languages between them. It's very possible that, that child will be very, or will be fluent if they speak those languages to the child. So use this in that sense. You're, man you're controlling your state. When you control your state, you're controlling what you feed your mind with. If you're feeding it with something like gratitude, if you're feeding it with motivation, that's how I got so motivated. I was not motivated at all. I was the least motivated person. The way that I do it every single morning, to still to this day for the past two years, probably more, I've listened to motivational videos every single morning. Why? Because I want to wake up and I want to feel motivated. It doesn't physically take anything away from me because I'm getting myself up, I'm getting changed, I'm going into the house, I'm having a drink of water, I'm brushing my teeth, and I'm feeling motivated. So it doesn't take any time away from me, it just benefits me. So think about how powerful that can be for you if you feel like you need motivation. But that's a very quick video for today. I hope you like day number two of the productivity challenge. This is just, again, as much as you can do. I'm on it, I'm on it, I'm doing it. Just before I made this video, actually, I thought, I was like, can I really be bothered? I was like, no, that's it, I've got to do it. That's it. You've got to snap yourself out of it. You've got to snap yourself out of the moods and put yourself back into the motivated mood. And that's what I'm back into it. So I'm going to put this video, edit it, stick it on, got the other one, got to upload it, do some more work, do some more studying, and I'm going to get there. Have a great day. You stay amazing. Keep spreading love. Keep spreading kindness. And keep spreading positivity.